Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about what's normal for you to energetically perceive. What's normal for people like us to energetically perceive in the world. Now, normal has a lot of uh, negative connotations because you are not quote unquote normal. You're not like everybody else in the world. The vast majority of people in the world um, cannot perceive energies and frequencies. Um, they're like uh, what Harry Potter would call muggles. Um, they really just cannot perceive it. Um, and it's not like they don't try. There's They actually cannot perceive energies and frequencies the way that you do. It's kind of like trying to explain to someone who's colorblind uh, different colors. It just doesn't work. And you might have, when you were younger, tried to explain to your parents or other people that you knew um, what you were perceiving. And they probably thought that you might have been a little bit crazy. Yikes. Yeah. And the thing was, is you weren't crazy. You were perceiving those energies and frequencies, but they had no frame of reference. They weren't able to really understand what you were doing because they couldn't perceive those energies that you were talking about. And one of the challenges is when you're um, even working with uh, practitioners, people who understand energies and frequencies, a lot of times the way that they explain the energies or how they explain how you are supposed to perceive them, it isn't the way that you perceive them. Now, I know this and I found that pretty much everybody perceives energies and entities in a different way. Now, there might be some overlap but a lot of times, sometimes there isn't even any. Like when I first was going into training about energetic awareness and the teacher would explain something, um, I didn't perceive the energies in the same way. And I actually thought that I didn't understand energies. I just must not be as aware as I thought I was. But what I found out later is that we all are perceiving in in entities and en energies and frequencies, and you are too perceiving them in different ways kind of like different angles of the same uh, experience. Now, you might have heard uh, an example of um, a, bl a blind person trying to explain an elephant. Now, if the blind person was only feeling the tail of the elephant, they would think that the animal is maybe like a snake or something. Or if they were only perceiving and feeling the legs, they might think the animal was more like a tree. And the way that you perceive energies is from a different angle, a different perspective than other people perceive them. <sighs> yeah, and so the way that you perceive energies and frequencies is totally correct. It's right. Ugh, yikes. And there can be some judgment in here because one of the parts around when we're first learning about um, perceiving energies and frequencies is that um, some of the energies can feel like scary, big. It can feel like there's this whole world out there that you don't know anything about. And it can feel kind of scary, and I get that. But the part is it's really not. And what can happen though is when you're perceiving energies, it's easy to focus in on more of the negative, non-contributive energies, um, often that they are louder or we're nervous about them, so we focus in on that. You can think of the energies that are going around in the world kind of like a conversation in a crowded room. Um, you can, if you tap into a specific conversation, you can really hear it. And if you're tapping into a conversation that's uh, dark, disturbing, you might be left with a feeling of dark and disturbing and that everything in the room is like that. So everywhere that you've been tapping into the more negative, the non-contributive energies, being afraid of energies, boom, she choose to release and let all that go. Ah, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. And this is one of the parts about adjusting your energetic awareness so it's more of a contribution to you. It's focusing in on the energies and frequencies that are a contribution to you in this moment. Ooh, do you feel how things got quieter? Yeah, and the whole part around your energetic awareness is um, what you focus in on, um, you're gonna be paying more attention to and it'll become bigger in your world. And a lot of times um, our energetic awareness gets turned up to a too high of level and you can adjust your awareness. Now, this is really helpful um, if you're going into like a, a crowded concert or even like a supermarket, um, is to often to ask your awareness to turn down to a contributive level. 
You never ask your awareness to turn off because that's not a contribution and you all always want to have your awareness going on at a certain level, but oftentimes it's turned too high. And if you're surrounded by a whole bunch of people and your volume is turned up really high, it can be overwhelming. Woo. And so the trick around all that is um, if you're in a situation where you're around a lot of people or there are a lot of energies that are really up, um, like a heated conversation, you can ask your awareness to turn down to a contributive level. Do you feel things even just asking that right now got quieter? Yeah, because in some ways it's your awareness is kind of like uh, uh, leaving on the 24-hour news in the background. Ugh, yikes. Yeah, um, and there's always some funky stuff going on that can be really disturbing and not calming. Now, is sometimes is it good to know what's going on in the world or going on in your neighborhood? Yeah, of course. And that's why we always ask our awareness to turn down to a contributive level. So awesome. Um, I'm Max Riggs, Energetic Awareness Explorer and your energetic guide. And if you have any questions about your energetic awareness or you're looking to um, increase your capacities, increase your magic, um, leave a comment below or send me a message and I'm happy to chat with you to see what we can do, what we can do working together to help create a more empowered you and a more empowered life. So thanks again and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.